Hey gang, Scott here in this video talking about the Enhance AI filter in Luminar AI. This is uh, really your first stop when you're doing processing in Luminar. Really quick, if you enjoy videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're thinking about adding Luminar AI to your toolkit, check the notes below. There's a discount code there that'll save you a little bit of money. So Enhance AI, like I said, this is your first stop. So here is this photo. I've done composition AI just to crop a little bit to get tighter on this farmhouse, but Enhance AI is really the place to start. We've got two controls, Accent AI, Sky Enhancer AI. Accent AI is, is really like your one slider to begin with because it's going to do all of your fundamentals, exposure, black point, white point, contrast, and just as I push this forward, let me stop right there, you can already see just turning that off, turning that on. So many different things have happened with just that one slider. Things we used to do in, say, the light tool where you would adjust exposure, black point, white point, and so forth. You can get all of that started with Accent AI and then just go visit light for you know fine tunings. And the thing about Accent AI is you can push it really far and it tends not to go too far overboard. In this photo, because of the amount of yellow, I'm going to leave this right around there. Uh, the number's not important. It's the look on the photo. Now, Sky Enhancer has AI behind it to only affect skies. And in this scene, I've got this blue sky there. And if I push Sky Enhancer to the right, I get a different treatment. Usually, it's a little bit of a darkening and an increase in saturation so the blues can jump out. Now, with the, uh, the Sky Enhancer AI slider, I, I do see if you push this very far, it gets overcooked. So, you know, do pay attention. So you don't want to, you don't want to just crank both of these things up to 100. I think the reason we have these really far edged things where we can go to 95 and 100, it's so you can see that you've gone too far <laughs> and then you can back off to something that looks a little more natural. But with that one control, Enhance AI, before and after, it's a world of difference. And it's a very, very powerful tool just to get your fundamentals done. Now, I did this with a landscape photo. This works with other photos as well. Let me show you one that doesn't have a sky because that's important to see because the, the uh, Sky Enhancer AI slider gets disabled in that regard. So this photo here has no real visible sky. So when we open up Enhance AI, the only slider that's active is Accent AI. And as before, we can push this. In this case, I'll probably push it very far to open up those shadows there. And just that one slider, it really just gets me to a very good starting point with my photo. And then I can go into the other tools and do any other adjustments that I want to. But that is Enhance AI. It's the starting point. It's the first tool you want to visit after applying a template. Most templates will apply this if you're doing an edit by hand. Start with Enhance AI. It'll get the baseline for your photo done with a single slider and fine tune from there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got any questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.